commercial harbor on the other side of the island. Here, I take a look. Offered to give someone a ride over here and drive his car back. So now I got a Jeep. That was kind of fun. I got to see the other side of the island. I was just helping the guy. I met him at the marina. They seem like cool people. They're doing some work. I guess there's a lot of construction work going on the island right now. And they're here from Maui. So maybe I'll see them again once I go back to Maui. I really like this beach. Nice and sandy, there's some good waves. Lots of shade over there to sit by. While I'm over here, I'm gonna hike around this point because there's this dive site called um, Cathedrals, pretty near here. I'm gonna see if I can scope out a good place to anchor. Uh, I've only got about half a scuba tank left because I used a bunch of air fiddling around with the anchor the other day. Maybe I got two thirds, but I think it should be enough to just a guy dive down, take a look, get some pictures, and then uh, head up on my way out of here tomorrow morning. Wow, that's a pretty impressive rock right there. I think the cathedral's dive site is over there. So here's the um, this dive site is, and I just looked it up. It looks like there's a bunch of mooring ball here, and then one back here. So as long as I can find them, I can just tie it to that, which should take a little bit of the stress off of the situation. Um, I just gotta hopefully come out here where there's not much wind or swell. So hopefully I'll just do it real early tomorrow morning, and then I'll just hang out there until someone else shows up or the wind picks up enough to sail on. I think that should be a good plan. The thorns on these islands are brutal. They go right through your sandals. Stabbed by these so many times. So I'm out Manila Harbor now. I'm gonna go find that scuba diving site. It looks like there's a mooring ball we can grab. Um, see if we can find it. It's a little wind already. I was hoping to do it before the wind started so I could just grab the ball easier. But I think it'll be all right. Well, I had to sail back and forth a couple times, but I thought, spotted the mooring underwater and I just jumped in and grabbed it. Uh, it wasn't too difficult, but we are kind of close to these rocks. I'm not liking that. It's already another dive boat out here, using four people to do what I did by myself. <laughs> There's the, uh, the big rock that marks the spot, and they just told me that the cave entrance is right around here, so let's take a look. Get geared up. My GoPro cut out, but I wanted to show y'all what it looked like. So I stole someone else's photo. Man, that was amazing. I was glad there, there was other divers in the water because I'm not sure if I would've found it. But it was like this little cave and you, you go in there, it's real dark. And then the fish, like yeah, I have my, I have, luckily I had my flashlight. I'm glad I brought that. Um, but oh man, there's so many cool fish and it was like in a cave and then you go a little further and then there's these, these blue like columns of light like shooting through all these openings. It was just the most unreal thing I've ever seen. Oh man, I wish, I think the GoPro cut out. I wish I got it on video, but um, I, I think maybe it's only not, it's not waterproof to that deep, but it still seems to work. But like when I was going down there, I couldn't press the button anymore. Um, so maybe I need to get a better like scuba diving camera. I don't know, I'll look, maybe I got some footage, but uh, it, was pr it wasn't very big. I went in, I think, I think there was another way to get out a different exit because I turned around and came out at the entrance. I think everybody else went out a different way. That uh, was still, man, it was, that was so cool. I just sailed off the mooring without too much fuss. Um, it looks like we're headed towards Lahaina now. We'll have to see how the wind holds up. It's pretty light, pretty light. The cheeseburger now. I always feel like there's a little sketchy doing this on the boat while we're sailing. But I kept getting free food everywhere in Lanai, so now I gotta finish up this uh, ground beef here. I used uh, some garlic naan for bread. Looks pretty good. Just fried it up in some of the hamburger grease. Really pleasant sail today. Nice, you know, relatively flat water compared to what I've been going to. Got Maui over here. Forget the name of this one, that uh, military 
abandoned island right there. <clears throat> Sailing away from Lanai. About uh, maybe 10 miles to go to Maui. It looks like we should make it before the harbor closes. Maybe we can get ourselves a slip or find a nice place to anchor. Just gotta hope that wind holds up. up on Maui and I think I see some potential speed flying sights. Looks pretty sweet up here. Hey, Jack dropped the anchor on the uh, at Alawalu Bay, the southwest coast of Maui. Um, this is where I would recommend the, the guide recommended putting the anchor but I'm pretty far from shore. If I want to swim there it's gonna be a long a long way. It's kind of funny uh the last four miles there was no wind so I just motored and now it's like blowing 20, 25 once I dropped the anchor. <laughs> also I don't have internet signal here which is kind of a bummer so I think I'll probably just stay here one night. Um, I need to give it or I need to give some time to charge my batteries though because I used most of the battery motoring the last bit here. It's kind of a shame because if, if I just waited there would have been enough wind. But I'm glad I got here while the sun was up because there's like sandy patches intermittent with coral I got a nice sandy patch, uh, which is good that I have good holding because the wind is definitely blowing pretty good right now. I ended up sailing to Alualu Bay instead of Lahaina because I'm incapable of making up my mind where I want to go.